Hello and welcome to the Coin Jungle. <clears throat> this is the first tutorial I'll be having on uh, different ways to manipulate cryptocurrency, buying, selling, transferring, storing it. And today I'm going to be talking about how to take money from your Coinbase account and move it onto Coinbase's exchange, D GDAX, um, which you sign into with the same credentials as your Coinbase. You already have, have an account if you have a Coinbase account. And so you would just go to gdax.com and log in. Um, here I'm already logged in. And so to put money from your Coinbase account into the GDAX account, uh, you choose which currency you want. Here uh, Coinbase just says Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin. Um, and I'm, uh, I use US dollars, so that's the one I'm going to be choosing. And then I'm going to click Deposit. This is for Ether. And you could fund it directly from your bank account, um, which actually, now that you're getting into using GDAX instead of Coinbase, um, it's a better option in that you don't need to pay fees to deposit, but uh, you have to wait four to five days, and then it comes in as, as dollars or euros, and then you buy the coin, as opposed to with Coinbase, where you buy it and it locks the price in, uh, but if you do a transfer on Coinbase, you have to wait for it. Um, so here I just have 10 cents in here left over from another transaction. Um, so I'm going to deposit this in my Coinbase in dollars, and I'm going to deposit it into my GDAX. And this is free because it's all on Coinbase's system, and it happens instantly. So I already have my 10 cents here in dollars. And um, and then the other really nice thing about GDAX is you can do as many as you want uh, limit trades, and uh, they don't charge you a fee. So if you wanted to day trade it, uh, this would be a good way to do it. And the difference between a limit trade and a market trade is that a market trade, uh, you're going to market trade you will be paying a fee and you're getting the price uh, that you put in there um, and you just put in as much um, dollars as you want and then it shows you how much ether you're going to get whereas a limit trade uh, here we can come over here and look at the depth chart and this is uh, the amount of cumulative interest uh, in in price to sell um, so this is, uh, there's, um, like for example here, there's only one ether for sale at 365 or less. And, uh, as you go over here, there's a big spike and here now there's 6,000 ether, uh, for $368. Uh, and then here, th these are, uh, the buy, uh, buy trades, buy offers. And then here you can scroll down and see more specifically uh, how this is the volume and this is the price for buys and these are sells. And so what a limit is, is that uh, if you're selling, you're selling above market rate. And if you're buying, you're buying below market rate. Here's the middle, 365. Um, so if you wanted to do a, a, a limit buy, since I have dollars here, um, I could make an offer below the market rate and kind of um, be waiting um, for the price to dip down real quickly. And if someone, like let's say that the price comes up to this 368 mark and now all of a sudden there's a lot of people wanting to sell at that point, um, then a then here there's not a lot of volume on the buy side and there is a lot of volume on the sell side so this is going to eat up a bunch of the volume and keep going down until uh, it can meet all of the um, the volume requested here uh, if they're doing a uh, a market trade so I'm just going to put it close if you if you want to be closer at guaranteeing 
to getting your buy or not having to wait a long time for the price to come down. Um, you can put it close to the to the market price, 36.5.385. So here I'm going to put in um, the price I want. So I'll do 36.5.10. And then I only have 0.1. It might not even let me do this, but let's say, let's see. Um, so I'm just going to bring the price down until it fits under my price and then place buy. See, it might not let me do it because it's so little money in here. But then that's going to uh, put an, an order in here and then it'll show a marker of um, where your price is and then it'll also show up here in the, uh, in the bids. And then once it goes through, it'll mark filled and then it'll end up here in your filled section and this dollars will be converted into ether.